hello everyone today's topic is trigonometry so as we have over here under root 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta or in simple way we can write it like 1 plus cos theta over under root 1 minus cos theta because we have whole root which means this root is along with numerator and denominator both the basic rule whenever we have under root in denominator so we have to rationalize it by multiplying and dividing the denominator so we can do that cos theta 1 minus cos theta multiply by 1 minus cos theta and dividing by the same value which is 1 minus cos theta now what can happen numerator multiply by numerator and denominator multiply by denominator so we get under root 1 plus cos theta and under root 1 minus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta under root and 1 minus cos theta as they both are multiplying to each other so we can write them in one root 1 plus cos theta 1 minus cos theta and in denominator we have 1 minus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta If we focus on the numerator, we have a formula of a plus b and a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square. So in place of them, we have to apply a formula. So my a should be 1 and b will be cos. So we can write it like 1 square minus cos square theta. In denominator we have both values same so we can write it like 1 minus cos theta square so the square and root should be cancel out to each other where in numerator what happened we have an identity which shows that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so when we move cos square theta to that side it will be 1 minus cos square theta so in place of them we have to write sine square theta sine square theta upon 1 minus cos theta a square and root should be cancelled out to each other and our answer will be sine theta upon 1 minus cos theta hope you like the video please share and subscribe take care bye bye